Hi, this is Amber Green from Lewis Hill Public Library. Today we're going to be doing some crafting, um, but I wanted to let you know we're going to have a grab bag the first Monday of every month. It's going to be related to the craft. There'll be supplies in there for you, and it will correspond with that Saturday's video. So this will be once a month, the first Monday of the month. Also, if you could leave a comment, we'd really appreciate it. It truly helps the library. Just let us know how many people are watching at home and if there's anything else you'd like me to do in the crafting videos or different crafts you'd like to see. Okay, let's get started. Hi everyone, today we're gonna to be making this yarn wool hang. It's super easy to make. All you need is a stick. You can even use a stick from outside um, and some yarn. So let's get started. So the supplies you're gonna to need today are a stick, again, if you'd be from outside, you don't even have to go buy any. Some scissors and some yarn. You could use as many colors as you like. I kind of prefer to just use the one color. So on here I used white and then I used twine for the string to hang it. For this one, I'm gonna use black and then I'm gonna use the white yarn that I have left over to make a string to hang this one. But you could do like a rainbow. You could have five colors, 10 colors, one, it's up to you. Okay. So for the yarn, what you're going to do is wrap it around your hand. And I'm doing nine times, so. So go from your hand to your elbow. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, and nine. So once you're in there, take it off. So now you have this loop and you're going to trim it. So now you have your piece here. It'll look like this and you're going to cut it kind of just like in half. So now you're going to spread it out and you're gonna have one long thing of yarn. And then your other pieces, um, they will be a little bit smaller. I still use them because it kind of camouflages once it's in there, so it's not a big deal. I kind of just put it like in the middle. There we go. So now you have your piece like that. So we're just gonna take your stick and then you're gonna kind of figure out how you want it on there. Like on this one, I left quite a bit of space at the ends. You could go further out if you wanted to, but I kind of like the look of that a little bit better. So just kind of position it onto your stick, however you think it looks good. Okay. So now you're going to lay this down onto your table. Take your stick, lay it on top near the um, very top of the, the string. So it has this kind of like round loop to it at the top and then you're going to take the thread underneath the stick and pull it through the loop at the top. So if you see it kind of has that knot. So for this one this string is a lot thinner than this string, so I'm going, you know, I needed more. This one is probably only going to take a few to fill the whole stick. So we will go through that process again. So take your string in your hand to your elbow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then at nine, you're gonna stop and then trim the excess again. And then take your loop, cut it in half. And there we go. So 
these are a little too small, so I'm just gonna put those on to the side. It's not gonna matter, it's just one, one less string than this. You won't really notice. So once again, you've got your piece. And then take your stick. So again, we're putting it in front of the stick. <clears throat> and then you're gonna grab the bottom part <clears throat> have it laying over, or have your stick laying over your yarn, and then pull this bottom part through the top. So now those are on there, and then we're going to make a couple more of these and then we'll come back. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break. Okay, we're back. I've since made two more yarn pieces added to my stick. I'm gonna add one more. So once again, take your yarn and your hand like that down to your elbow and then count nine times. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and then trim your excess and then take your loop and cut it if the pieces are too small again just toss those to the side these excess pieces i'm going to keep that one That is a little too short. I'm not going to keep that one. Okay, so now I have, looks like that. So take your stick. And then we're going to repeat the process one more time of putting it on the stick. So take it like this. You're kind of pinching in at the end and then you're leaving that loop at the top. And then you're putting that underneath your stick. So now you're taking your loop and you're taking this bottom part, pulling it through the loop. Okay, so now it looks like this, and we're going to give it a little haircut. So for this one, you can see I kind of did it at an angle, so I'm going to do the same thing with this one. You could leave it like this if you wanted to, but I think it looks nicer to have that kind of angled cut. So line it up as straight as you can and go ahead and cut at an angle. Still 
little too long or too short. So now I'm going to make my loop for the top so that I can hang this. So for this, I'm going to again just use the white string that I have. But you could use anything that you had. Um, again, like I use the twine, you could use that if you had some of that. I'm going to figure out how long I want this. This is a little too long. I'm going to trim it down just a bit. Just kind of eyeball it, just however long you want. It doesn't have to be a certain length. And then we're literally just going to tie these to the ends of the stick that's poking out. So I'm going to double knot this, or just make a knot rather, but you could make a few knots to make it really secure if you wanted. So see how that on there, tied, and I'm just going to trim the excess so it's not poking out. you guys enjoyed um and please let us know if you want to see anything different and leave comments for us please thanks thanks for watching our video today join us again next week and every week on saturdays for a crafting video also again there'll be a grab bag once a month on mondays the first monday of the month corresponding with that saturday's craft again please leave us a comment in this um, video we'd really appreciate it. it helps us a bunch and don't forget to stay safe out there